Yeah, so welcome to my kitchen and today what I'm going to show you how to prepare like some uh, nice cream spinach. So first process is wash your spinach. This is what I'm doing. This is like uh, actually my second rinsing. Rinse your spinach. I usually, I don't cut my spinach. I'll just show you how I tear them. So first process, this is my second washing. And you should make sure you wash your spinach very nicely because spinach is usually is usually as in it usually has like a sun so make sure you wash it with enough water and very very well as for me this is my second washing but i've told you i don't cut my spinach because the way it's soft i'm just going to show you what i do what i usually do I tear them. Nazirarua. Then I'll pour my water. So next process will be tearing the spinach. So this is how I, I just tear them like that. I'll tear them. My spinach are ready. My spinach are ready. And I just put the spinach. You them. You steam them, yeah. So I'm not even going to. You don't need to put water. The spinach has some water. I don't have a big lid, so this is what I'm going to use just to cover it up. I'm steaming my spinach here. Yeah? You steam it for about like uh, five minutes, it will be ready. Then I remove and drain the water. Drain water using my colander. Yeah, so voila, this is how the steam is going on, and you can turn, turn, turn your spinach, the upper ones to go down. Yes, so our spinach is ready. The next process is to put it inside the colander. We drain the excess water. Spinach usually produces a lot of water. As you can see, this is how it looks like. I didn't cut here. Yeah? You see the way it's, sh it's called shrinking. Yeah? I did not, I did not cut and it's, see the way it looks like. So I'm just trying to squeeze the excessive water from it. Excessive water. Excessive water. As I turn it. I'm 
time to dry it. So this is what I do. No cutting, yeah? No need for cutting your spinach. Cut. Yeah. What is that? It's not working, it's finished. I want to So, for my ingredients, what I'm going to use, I have like chopped onions and my garlic. I usually grate my garlic. This is what I'm going to use. Cooking oil. Salt. Salt. Meal. Meal. This is flour. So fast. Do you do you? Put your onion. This is frying your onions. Remember guys, we are preparing like a cream spinach Cream spinach in the making You can try this also Normally I usually use my cooking cream but I also tried this and uh, the spinach were very yummy so you can also try it I usually use this cooking cream but today we are going to use milk and flour this is a oh, it's not a self-raising it's all purpose flour ya chapati Next process, 
taking my flour, this is flour, okay, I scoop, then you pour. You smooth up. So you take again, this is flour, then you pour. So, this is what I'm going to use to stir. Oh, no, no. It's not going to disappoint me. My gadget. Just to make sure you can use this. To make sure the flour is properly mixed. This is how I mix it. To avoid having lumps. Then you take your milk, pour your milk. Pour your milk as you stir. So this is how our paste looks like. Then you take your salt, just add salt to taste. your feet first, then water, get your spinach, add your spinach. Yeah, watch, this is good spinach. Nice. 